really quick just kind of try on review video today we're going to be doing the new blush contour and highlight these are the new halo glow beauty wands from elf now god and everybody has already done reviews on these i got mine kind of late i tried to order them the day that they originally launched on elf but of course you know they sold out really quickly they landed on ulta a few days later but it took almost a week for these to get to me i ordered one of each product. Before we get to reviewing these, I did want to say thank you. I have noticed that I had a little jump in subscribers. I finally hit 1800 and now I think I'm at like 1818, 1820, something like that. I just want to say thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to my little corner of the beauty world. It's not huge, but we try to have a little bit of fun over here. If you are coming back to the channel, welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know I don't say that very often, but I do. Now getting back into this video, like I said, it's just going to be a quick little try on. I've done my entire face of makeup. The only thing that I haven't done is, you know, the bronzer, highlighter, blush. Now I don't really contour, I bronze, but I figured that this product, and this shade is the medium tan. This looks like it could work for me as a bronzer shade. We're going to test that out and see. I'm on the e.l.f. website right now looking at what these are supposed to do. It says that the contour one is a cushion tip. They all have a cushion tip. You have a radiant, naturally sculpted complexion. It's a buildable liquid formula. Effortly blends the skin. Infused with skin loving 2% swaling. It comes in five shades. Fair light, light, medium, medium tan, tan deep, and deep rich. And like I said, I have medium tan. So let's apply this one first. Let me know, guys, if you have tried these yourselves yet, what you have thought about them. I tell you one thing that I've definitely noticed that a lot of brands seem to be mimicking this. From my understanding, this is a dupe of the glow wands from Charlotte Tilbury, I think it is. I've seen Tarte do these. I've seen, I think Makeup Revolution has done them. Kiko Milano just launched products like these so yeah this seems to be the product of the year right now we have our cushion tip and it looks like you open and close it on the top so i'm going to open it squeeze out a little product then i'm just going to take this and i'm going to dab it on my cheek on my on my forehead yeah see that looks like a pretty good shade now i have powdered my face i have done everything the only thing that I haven't done, like I said, is these three products. I have oily skin, so I put, I powder everything down. So it's important for me to have a product that works over powder. Hopefully this doesn't set down really quickly before I can blend it all out. I'm using my F13 from um, AOA Studio. Ooh. Yeah, this is blending. This is setting down pretty quickly. I probably should have just done like one section at a time. <laughs> It's like really work this into the skin but the shade looks really good you know, right off the bat first thing to note this sets down pretty quickly so do one section at a time not like your whole face like i said i do like the shade i feel like it is pretty and it's warm enough that for me it will work as a bronzer not just as a contour i'm going to attempt to blend this out a little bit more so we're going to do this side first a couple of dots like that quickly blend <laughs> I'm sure if you're blending this like you know over your foundation like if you haven't sat down with powder at all it'll probably blend a little bit more i'm gonna squeeze a little bit more on this side and just start blending i'm like taking it to my forehead and then trying to put the top on and it seems like it's setting before i've had a chance to like get the top back on it so blend very very quickly where this product is concerned as far as glow i'm not seeing much of it it's supposed to be a radiant formula but the way this is blending and the way that the finish looks yeah this looks more matte to me I, i'm not seeing much radiance at all going on just maybe the slightest bit but mm, yeah not much at all moving on to the halo glow beauty wand blush the shade that i got is in berry there are only four shades i'm looking at the website once again all of them are sold out but you have candlelit rose you slay magic hour and very radiant once again i have very radiant looking at the pictures on the website the only ones that i feel like are actually truly blushes are very radiant and rose you slay i'm going to drop a picture here because i do want, want you to see all four of them together the other two candlelight and bronze gold i am so sorry but those are highlighters they're like deep 
glowy highlighters. Those are not blushes. Like there's no way on any skin tone that's going to look like a blush. It's going to look like a highlighter. Those two I'm not too sure about. The shade that I wanted was that rosé shade, but it that was the only shade on Ulta that had sold out at the time. So we're going to try this one. I didn't mention at the very beginning of the video, but having oily skin, I usually don't go for glowy products. I usually prefer like a matte to you know a satin matte but i did want to try these product coming up in the tip now with this one i'm going to put a couple of dots on one cheek and then quickly blend in because if it sets down like the contour bronzer stick did then yes i want we want to blend in quickly so i'm going to put a few dots hopefully i didn't do too much and we're going to start blending now this is a radiant blush oh that's pretty oh that's nice it's not like too super glowy i feel like this is something that's going to look absolutely gorgeous in the summer this shade that is pretty the blush is definitely blending out a little bit easier than the contour bronzer did it's not setting down as quickly so i have a little bit more time to work with it gorgeous the last thing we're going to be testing out today is the Halo Beauty Glow Wand. This is the highlighter. They only have three shades of the Champagne Campaign, Rose Quartz, and Liquid Gold, which is what I got. And I got this one because the other two shades were sold out. I don't know if you can see it in the tube. This looks like it's going to be like super gold. I'm not so sure about this. But as I said, the other two shades, the ones that I would have actually gone for, were sold out. So this is what I had available to me. This one is supposed to give you a radiant lit from within glow, buildable highlighting formula, effortly blends into the skin. Once again, this one also has squalene. The blush has squalene as well. All right, let's see how this is going to look on the skin. This one I'm just going to blend in with my fingers. I'm going to take just a little bit on the tip there and then blend it. Normally I wouldn't go for like a deep gold highlighter, but okay, that's pretty. Like it looks super yellow gold in the tube, but on it actually blends out to just kind of a little bit of a radiant golden glow. Once again in the summer, that is going to be super pretty. Like if you have kind of a tan to deep skin tone, or, you know, even if you're medium to tan, and but you have like a little bit of a lovely summer tan going, this is going to be pretty. Ooh, that is lovely. I will say that the actual tubes themselves are kind of messy. They're not screwing down, so it's not like twisting down, and it feels like there's like a lot of product on the top. I prefer either a um, like doe foot type applicator or just, just straight liquid that I can just kind of tap into my hand and put it on. I prefer that to cushion. That's the one gripe that I do have about cushion applicators that they can get messy and they can be a little bit, you know, they can also come off as being like a little unsanitary because like how do you clean this tip after a while? But that is the end of this video. Overall, I did enjoy all three products. The contour, once again, you want to blend that in really, really quickly. I don't know how quickly it would blend in if you were just doing it over like your foundation. You hadn't set down with powder, but over powder, I had to really work to get that blended in because it was setting down really fast. I did have a little more time to work with as far as the blush and the highlighter. I think the blush just looks absolutely gorgeous. If you are into that radiant finish, I think you're going to love these. Once again, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm once again so grateful that you guys decided to, to join me in my little corner of the beauty world. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on so that you won't miss any videos coming up in the future. And if you're not already doing so, you can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.